Hi students, I hope you learn previous four lectures. Now we'll continue with the same basic course in mathematics and statistics. Now we'll continue with the uh, methods for finding the roots of quadratic equation. In the previous lecture, that is in lecture number four, I have discussed the methods for finding the roots of quadratic equation. The first method is factorization method. Second method is completing square method. And now we see third method that is the formula method for finding the roots of quadratic equation. In the school level mathematics, you are familiar with the formula of quadratic equation. The quadratic equation means the equation of degree 2, ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Here, coefficient of x square is a, coefficient of x is b and coefficient and that constant term is c. And the formula is x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, this formula uh, by using this formula we can solve the quadratic equation hence the name is quadratic uh, uh, finding the roots of quadratic equation by using formula method. So, the quadratic equation which cannot be solved to, to, to the factorization or completing square then uh, it can be solved by with the help of above formula. So, the method is called formula method for finding roots of quadratic equation. Now, we see one example of finding the roots of quadratic equation that is solve 5 x square plus 6 x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, comparing with the standard equation a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0, we will get a as 5 coefficient of x square is 5 coefficient of x b is 6 and constant term c is 1 and putting in the above formula x is equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a we get x is equals to minus 6 plus minus under root 6 square minus 4 into 5 into 1 divided by 2 into 5. So, if we simplify this mathematical equation x is equals to minus 6 6 square is 36, 4 5 is a 20 divided by 2, 2 5 is a 10. So, we will get minus 6 under root 16 divided by 10. Now, root 16 is 4. So, minus 6 plus minus 4 upon 10 and here minus 6 plus 4 divided by 10 simplifying it, we will get the roots as x is equals to 0 0.2 or x is equals to minus 1. So, the given quadratic equation that means equation of degree 2, it has two roots or two solution x is equals to minus 0 0.2 and x is equals to minus 1. Now, we move to the arithmetic progression AP and geometric progression that is GP. So, in school level mathematics, you are familiar with the AP and GP. It is a uh, most popular concept in mathematics. The arithmetic progression, first we define the arithmetic progression AP. In sequence, if the difference between any two terms and its preceding term that is Tn plus 1 minus Tn is constant, then the sequence is called in arithmetic progression or in short we say AP. So, what is arithmetic progression? Difference between any term and its preceding term that is Tn plus 1 minus Tn is constant, then that progression is called arithmetic progression. Here we can see the example of some arithmetic progressions. First example 2, 5, 8, 11 and 14. So, here first term is 2 and what is the difference between first two term? Difference between 2 and 5 is 3, difference between 5 and 8 is also 3, difference between 8 and 11 is also 3, difference between 11 and 14 is also 3. So, difference between these two terms are constant. So, we say this progression or this sequence is arithmetic progression. Also, we see the second example 4, 10, 16, 22, 20, 28 and so on. So, here also we can see the difference between first two term is 6, difference between 10 and 16 is 6. So, difference between each term that is Tn plus 1 minus Tn is constant. So, these progressions are called arithmetic progressions. Similarly, we define the geometric progression next type of sequence in mathematics. 
So, a sequence in which a ratio between any term and its previous term is constant that is T n plus 1 by T n this is the ratio that you know the ratio A has to B means A divided by B. So, ratio of n plus 1 the term to the nth term T n plus 1 by T n is constant then that sequence is called geometric progression or in short we can say G p. So, here we see some examples in geometric progression uh, we also write as A A r A r square A r cube and so on where A is the first term and r is the common ratio or constant ratio also we can say. So, in geometric progression first term is denoted by A and constant ratio or common ratio is denoted by r a and r are small alphabets. Here we can see some examples. So, first example is 2, 4, 8 and 16. So, here we find the first term and common ratio. What is the first term of this equation? 2 is the first term. So, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 16. What is the common ratio? Ratio between two first two terms that is ratio of 4 and 2 that is 2 ratio of 8 and 4 is also 2. So, the ratio is constant ratio. So, this progression is called geometric progression. Also in second example 3, 9, 27 and so on. What is the first term and what is the common ratio in the second example? So, first term that A is 3 and we find the common ratio first two term 3 and 9. So, we find 9 divided by 3 as 3, 27 divided by 9 is also 3. So, ratio between two terms that first two terms is also 3, ratio between second and third term is also 3. So, these progressions are called geometric progression. So, these two very important concepts of mathematics that is arithmetic progression and geometric progression. In short, we say a p and g p. So, in arithmetic progression ratio between any term and its preceding term is constant and in geometric progression ratio between any term and its preceding term is constant. So, arithmetic progression and geometric progression that difference constant and ratio is constant. Thank you so much.